Hey guys, today we're going to be doing FNAF Bootlegs Part 4, because the last video did extremely well, and why wouldn't I make another one? Let's be real. There's so many bootlegs out there, so without further ado, let's just get straight into it. So let's start off with some plushies. So, first off, we got a banger. We got Livewire Freddy, and oh man, his face, it's just his face. I'm going to be honest though, he doesn't look too far off from the original, because the original, um, I mean, the original already looks pretty bad, this is just, this isn't that, this isn't that much worse, I'm just going to say that. Um, next up we got these fellas, which are, um, brain dead in their own cute sort of way, I mean, the cupcake is staring into my soul, but then I can look over at the blue Freddy next to him and just, and you know, the, these, the bootleg black lights, any bootleg black light item in general is always just the funniest things, and I don't know why. Now we got these. I, these are on Amazon. Um, go find them if you want them. I don't know what they are. I'm tempted to just order them and see what they are, because I'm gonna be honest, this image ain't telling me a lot. Are they flat? Are they, like, eggs are they plastic are they are they fabric with the printing on them why do they come in a bag like a fabric five nights at freddy's themed bag i'm just have so many questions about these and i don't think any of them are gonna get answered unless i buy it so uh 2000 likes yeah 2000 and i will buy two bags of these and do a video on them uh, that's a promise so we all know Canada isn't real but you know what is real yes a 18 centimeter this um by the way that Canada isn't real that's a joke anyway um this plushie it's not that much bigger than the original one but it's big enough to where I'm kind of intimidated by the fact he exists. Now, here we got a bootleg Glamrock Freddy costume, which, uh... Uh... Yeah, I feel exactly like that render of Freddy in the corner. Now we got bootleg Dreadbear plushies, which, um... Oh, man. Oh, man. Jack O'Bonnie, what did they do to you? Dreadbear looks like... Dreadbear just looks like you put him under a hydraulic press and then you lifted it back up. That's really what he looks like. Then Foxy, oh no, let's move on. Popipo, happy, midnight mystery warrior. Midnight mysterious is his name apparently. Um, as you can see, he's got a hook. He's got a his eyes are painted completely off. His um. It's got random mystery minis and Funko Pops on the box. Very, very cool. Very cool product right here. Very, very nice. I like it a lot. I would recommend. Um, what were they going for with this? I'm, I'm genuinely curious. What were they going for? I don't think they had a goal. <laughs> the Donkey Man back. I love the Donkey Freddy. If you guys don't know what the donkey plushies are, you gotta go watch the other bootleggers videos because, man, the donkey um, FNAF plushies are some of the funniest bootlegs I've ever seen. And this one doesn't have eyebrows, so that's 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 an, that's an epic plus. Now we got this bootleg Easter Bonnie plush, who actually looks extremely accurate to like the Spring Bonnie plush. Of course, he's a recolor and he's white, but like he looks, ex he kind of looks official. Like I, I could see this being official, honestly. But this is a bootleg. Uh, but if any of you guys desperately want an Easter Bonnie plush, for some reason, uh, here you go. This is actually a pretty good option, I'd say. He looks pretty good. This image strikes fear in me, and I don't know why. It just scares me. I, I don't. I don't have any reason to be scared of it. This image just, just intimidates me on another level. This is what happens to you when you vape in middle school. This is what you'll look like. So, just 
nice little life advice from Mr. Springs today. Um, next to- oh! Oh! Oh, God! What the frick? Is- okay, so you're telling- you're- so, Happy Frog has a spinal cord in her hand. Twisted Happy Frog, I will mind you. And the spinal cord has a skull wearing a bonnie mask on top of it. What? Where do bootleggers get their ideas? I'm serious. Like, how do how do you how does a human mind comprehend this concept? This this scares me. To be honest, it, it just scares me. It, this is intimidating. I don't like this. I don't like it one bit. So next up, we got this epic, The Big Book of Five Nights at Freddy's, Deluxe Unofficial Survival Guide. So this is a bootleg FNAF guidebook that can actually be found at Walmart stores. And you can see the Scott Cawthon copyright, but that is not real as that is a just crediting Scott for the screenshot and not crediting him for the, I don't know. This is unlicensed. It's hardcover somehow. I don't know how they did that, but, um, yeah, this is inside. It's not actually, like, FNAF tips, to my knowledge. It's just, like, weird how to draw on random things that are kind of FNAF-related if you're blind. Um, next up, we got this bootleg store. This is the Bootleg HQ. They have everything that you could possibly want. They got, um, B Glamrock Chicas. They got Stanley. You know, Stanley. They got Shadow Freddy's up there. You got Vanny. These are all official, by the way. You can tell. You can tell. Just look at, just look at the Chicas at the bottom. It's official. It's real. They actually do have one official product here. It is the Good Stuff Freddy. So, at least they got one, one official thing. And I guess those Twisted Foxies could pass as official, because they really don't look that much different from the originals. But, uh, yeah, it just scares me that somewhere out there, this is a thing that you can find. What is this? Who is this? Who? Who is this? Why has he got, like, an operation thing on his stomach? I don't... What are... What are you? What? Who is this character? This Sparky? This does not look like Sparky. I don't remember him like this. <laughs> These ones pretty much just I don't know, Foxy. Foxy in particular. Freddy and Bonnie, they look pretty basic in terms of bootlegs, but Foxy. That is just a magnificent creature right there. We I I want that in my house. I want that in my house. That's that's just what I think about that. And then we got Chica, Springtrap, and Balloon Boy. Balloon Boy looks like he got beat up on the school playground. He got all of his teeth knocked out. Um, I also appreciate how his sign is just, like, disgustingly dirty. Same with his balloon. Um, then you got Springtrap, who his head is a different color than the rest of his body, and... I'm gonna be completely honest. He looks... Actually, no. I don't know what I was gonna say there. I don't. I had a joke, but I forgot. Anyway, then we got Chica, who, um, um, why does she, why does she look like Quagmire? Anyway, oh, oh, what, what is that? What is, what is this? What is this? Okay, this is not, okay, there's a line that you go for, like, in terms of what counts as FNAF and what doesn't. I'm, I'd argue that this doesn't count as FNAF. I'd just, I'd argue that, because... What is this? What is this? What is it? I don't know. I I can't comprehend what I'm looking at here. It's just so What is what what happened to the face? What happened? What were they going what were they trying to do? What happened to the face? Why does the hair look like that? I don't whatever. Next up, we got Oh. Oh. Man, Afton's had enough. Too many games. Just put him out of his misery already. Seriously. He does not want to be around anymore. You can tell. Just look at that face. What? This actually looks really good. This looks really good. Um, besides the metallic material, this is a very, very, very good daycare attendant plush. Like, 
Seriously, there it is so accurate. And I'm kind of shocked. I have no idea where you could buy this. Could be a custom and not a bootleg, but it looks a little too, like, factory produced to be a custom. Um, but yeah, this thing is very interesting to me. I do like this a lot. This looks really, really good. I honestly can't think of anything bad to say about it. It looks... This is a really good plush. They Very, very good job to do bootleggers for this daycare attendant. Really. Then we got the son, who's not as good, but, you know, at least... The, the plush pattern's good, but I do think the colors on this one are very bad. Uh, the plush pattern's very good, but definitely not good. Not as good as Moon. Not nearly as good as Moon. But that Moon plush, oh man, that was so good. Now we got this little, this little figure of him. Oh man, what happened? He looks like he's made of chocolate and he's melting. It, like white chocolate too and that's like the gross kind i don't know about you guys what's your opinion on white chocolate let me know in the comments anyway speaking of chocolate chocolate chica looks like she she looks like she saw something that she really shouldn't have like she like she clicked on some link and it just like redirected her eight times and this is her reaction to what she ended up on that's really what this t tells me. There's like a story behind this, I can tell. Also, why does the texture look so disgustingly realistic with like the chocolate drizzling? Like, I hate that. I hate that so much. This is a figure, not a plush, by the way, for the people who couldn't tell. Um, now we got Smooth Candy Cadet. This is the Candy Cadet plush, but he is smooth now. He is no longer shiny, he is just smooth. I can't tell if I hate it or not, but I will say, he's a lot cheaper than the actual one, so there you go. Why? This is Blank from Five Nights at Candy's with a freaking supernova happening in his stomach. Like, what What the frick? What, what happened to you, bro? Are you okay? I don't think he is. T to, be, to be fair, they did do a really good job painting, like, all the little sketches on him. Like... Especially the little, like, house with the tree on his face. That looks surprisingly good. Like, usually these bootlegs have very, like, crappy paint jobs. That actually looks pretty decent. So, I'll give him that. Toxic Springtrap Funko Pop leak. Actually, no. My mistake. This is actually Five Nights at Freddy's Funko Pop. Um, very, very cool bootleggers. They are full of uranium. <laughs> Anyway, what you do when my gang pull up? What do you do when my gang pulls up? What would you do if my gang pulled up? What would you do if my gang pulled up on you? Anyway, Midnight Mystery Warrior, it's our favorite. So let's just admire Midnight Mystery Warrior for the final moments of this video. Because, seriously, Midnight Mystery Warrior, legend. Um... Um, that I, I regret my decision greatly. Oh, whoa, bro. Is that Midnight Mystery? The character is, the, is it named after Midnight Mystery? This is a giant twisted Foxy mini and I really don't like it. I re really, really don't like it. I want to emphasize that I really don't like this. awful that is awful that is terrible oh man whoa that is crazy man that is crazy i cannot believe that this exists i want this i want this if any of you guys can figure out where i can buy this i want this i want this well this is just sad this is just upsetting i this is just upsetting really you see there's more in the background too. This is this is just not cool. Um Yeah, and that's the last bootleg of the video. Sorry if this one wasn't as good as the last one. It probably was just as good considering me and I'm so cool. 
And by the way, I'm so cool that you should probably subscribe to me. And you should also hit the like button. Actually, yeah, hit the like button. Or if you didn't like it, hit the dislike button, because I get engagement either way. So, yeah, see you guys in the next video.